where we are going to highlight very, very important achievements, you know, that we've done over the period. And we are glad to be members of the fourth estate that you are here in person to cover this all important, you know, event. Let me now introduce the uh, the chairman of the Nigerian Authority, Anthony J. Adams Manova. Chairman Manova is the chairman of the Nigerian Authority and oversight commissioner of Cape Mount, Bakulu, and Bomi counties. And far to the honorable chairman is one of our partners. As you may be aware, the inclusive land and management project that has to do with capacity building is being spearheaded by the Swedish government through land material. And they've been supporting the LA over the period of four five years now, during five years. And they've been working tremendously well. And we want to recognize Maria Brander, who happens to be the communication expert from Land Mataria to Liberia. And she will be proxying for Mr. Christopher Byron, who happens to be the project manager of ILA. So basically, this is, you know, why we are here. Just to go straight, I want to also welcome every one of you to this all important, you know, press conference, which will tag end of the year press conference. Um, like I said, I just gave you the overview of that, and then we will then move into the agenda for the day. Like I said, the ED is supposed to present to this body the key achievement for which he said we should cross it. And then uh, we will take questions. We'll take questions from you, the journalist. We'll take questions. And then from there, the Librarian Authority has for all of the staff of the Librarian Authority. What is that message that motivates our staff that across the 50 counties of Nigeria? How do the LRA see some of the level of support that comes from implementing partners, you know, nationally and internationally and so forth? So basically today we're going to be looking at some of those things we have done over the period. And that's why we are here. Once again, thank you, thank you, and thank you plenty. And to move forward. I just been told that the executive director just arrived and he will be here in the next few seconds anyway. So we will we'll then take a statement from the Elam team headed by Maria Branda. We will take that statement so that we do an interchange of you know what the ED is supposed to do. Then that time the ED will be in and then he can go straight with his achievements. So Maria Branda, I think all of our cameras now should focus mm -hmm. that for everything that has been uh, achieved this year, uh, it's been a lot, and we will hear uh, more about it uh, after uh, Ilito has arrived. Uh, from uh, uh, Ireland, um, the CEDA founded a uh, project that I'm working with. We're proud to, to be a part of the support to Liberia Land Authority. Uh, Sweden and the Swedish government think that uh, land issues uh, are one of the most important issues and uh, they are very glad to, to be able to, to support. Uh, and I would also like to compliment the staff, the whole staff of the LA, who is doing a tremendous job. So I know there are challenges, but uh, as we will hear, there have been a lot of achievements this year. I will hand over the word to you. the executive director of the LRAC. So we will now turn all of our cameras and all of our microphones over to the executive director of the LRAC before the chairman can come up with his official statement, end of the year statement. So distinguished members of the press, the executive director of the Library and Authority, Mr. Stanley Thank you very much, Mr. Bonder. I'm still breathing. Yeah, because of the traffic. However, <clears throat> thank for the chairman of the LA for selecting me to do this uh, brief to the price. The white plan normally at the beginning of the year we develop an annual white plan. And that white plan has to be in alignment with our 
strategic plan. At the LIA, we have a five years strategic plan that uh, covers the period 2018 to 2023. But quite recently, I think it was two or three months ago, because of changing times and changing conditions, we revised the strategic plan. We now have a revised plan that runs from 2022 up to 2026. So what I will do for you, later on you will be handled our annual performance report that we just completed and as required by the LRA law, we submitted same through the office of uh, the chairman to the executive action for onward transformation to the national legislature. That's the protocol. During fiscal 2022, LAA white plan focused in seven areas. Let's uh, briefly elaborate on the management system of Liberia. Again, you are not in the sector, but when we talk about land administration, we are basically talking about uh, 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 issues or processes pertaining to survey, pertaining to mapping, pertaining to land information, pertaining to land valuation, etc. It's quite different from your typical administration. The third focus of the LAA during the year under review was building equipment of processes, procedures, and etc. The fourth focus was uh, decentralizing land services. If you have an opportunity to have read the LAA Act of 2016, a measure or it has provision that talk about decentralization of local land governance. And so at the LIA, our concentration or one focus area was on making some interventions in order to enhance uh, land services delivery at the county level. The other area was uh, resolving land disputes. As you know, and I'm sure the chairperson would make mention. Another area of focus during the year was uh, conducting public information campaign and outreach on land matters and land issues, particularly on the Land Rights Act and also on the Land Authority Act with reference to the mandate of the authority, the functions, the institutional arrangements, you know, etc. Then another area or the last area of focus was implementing or implementation of programs and projects to enhance the security of communities with customary land. As you might be aware, under the Land Rights Policy and the Land Rights Act, land has been, or land ownership has been categorized. You have public land, you have government rights to communities with customary land. So those are the seven focus. Now, briefly, because of time, and as I indicated to you, Emmanuel will distribute the performance report to you that outlines the various achievements on the each of the focus here. But for the sake of the public, with respect to the first focus area that deals with policy and legal reforms, I think the crowning achievement during the year in review, or during the year under review, was the completion 
of the development and completion of the regulations for the implementation of the Land Rights Act. As you are aware, in 2018, uh, the Land Rights Act was enacted into law. But as the chairman would further explain to you, it is a framework law. You need regulations and guidelines to effectively implement the act. So with uh, the support of the World Bank, uh, legal consultants, both international and national, were hired, working along with the LIA to develop regulations issues that needed to be addressed so we had to have another technical session so the process went through and we have protocols of our 11th version of uh, the LRA but it was approved by the World Bank in October and the next step was to have it decided we through the instrumentality of the chairman of the authority, working with uh, authorities of government specifically at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on November 15 to be exact, the Land Rights Act was decided. That is, giving the regulation full and effect for implementation. Another milestone on the policy reform was the development and completion of the national land supported by the forest sector of the resolution. Legal person to develop of draft guidelines and procedures for the effective implementation of the LIA. Uh, those guidelines and procedures include guidelines for the demarcation of customary land, etc., uh, etc. Et the uh, authority is also in the process of uh, developing a Liberia Land and Property Valuation Act to suit every government, public, customary, private, and property across the country. In addition to that, uh, you know, gender is cross-cutting. A couple of years ago, the LIA with support from one of our international partners developed the gender integrated integration uh, strategy. That strategy has an implementation plan. And during the year, LIA, through the support of the Swedish funded Liberia Land Administration Management Project, we were able to uh, develop that plan and vote of uh, commissioners subsequently approved the plan. And uh, most important, and this is something I think the press would be interested in, since the days of the former land commission, we have been uh, uh, working with the MCC that is the Millennium Challenge Corporation. It's a private corporation of the United States that gives grants to developing countries. Once you have achieved certain schools, we started off back in 2014 under the Treasure Program, and then later on under Compact. Under Compact, Liberia received to my knowledge $250 million under the Salif administration, and that money was used basically for the refurbishment of the hydro and other things. We have been working with the MCC eligibility team at the Ministry of Finance, and the indicator that we have been tracking on is uh, land rights and access. Since uh, the past three, four years, Liberia or uh, the Land Authority has been very successful in achieving all this particular indicator. And for this year, according to the information, we maintained our 77 percent. As you all know, in uh, the press, Liberia 
I think uh, fires, little fires. Now we are striving for the next one year to put certain actions into place that will qualify Liberia for compact. And if the compact comes, Liberia is eligible to receive up to about 500 million United States dollars. So those are some of the key activities on the policy, legal, and regulatory reform that the LA was able to achieve during the course of 2022. Then the next focus area is strengthening the land administration and management system. We have a whole lot of achievements, but one of the biggest achievements was the installation of what the technical people call continuously reference station, the core station. In simple terms, one of the benefits of the core station is that it makes survey, it actually provides accuracy for surveys that will be conducted in Liberia. And then, of course, with the support of the World Bank, we were able to procure this particular system. It has now been installed at Fender at the University of Liberia and is currently in use. We are currently in the process of uh, having a discussion with the uh, government and also some of our international partners we got the World Bank project closest uh, at the end of next month to see how best uh, some assistance can be provided uh, covering the maintenance costs of this particular uh, station. Also, there were some uh, primary uh, geogetic control networks that were established throughout uh, Liberia. Uh, again, in addition to that, with the assistance of our Swedish partners, LAA developed an implementation plan for proposed changes to the property registration system. Uh, the board had a special section that looked at those processes and uh, in the next coming year, uh, specifically in the first quarter of uh, 2023, some of those recommendations will be put in place. Uh, also, with the assistance of uh, the Swedish project, we are in the process of uh, digitalizing land records, eventually our aim is to establish a land information system, uh, which is LAA priority, or one of LAA priority during the coming year. And then uh, in terms of capacity building through staff, a number of staff specifically from the land administration department benefited from training related to these equipment. And last uh, but not least, under this particular component, also training was initiated during the year in review or during the year in review on land of land valuation. As you may be aware, land administration uh, evaluation is one of the functions of the land administration department. And so uh, the Swedish uh, project has been uh, providing some support in that area. Also, uh, there were a number of surveys that were conducted by the LAA on the directive or by order of the court. Again, uh, a number of other surveys were conducted for government, ministry, agencies, and uh, other, uh, other interesting parties. And one of uh, the achievements under this particular uh, focus area was the development of a customary land intervention monitoring system. What it is, as you may be aware, we have a number of civil society organizations 